Good morning, guys. Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina as we get ready for our 10 hour all day trip. Our 39 hour trip is offloading now. You guys are gonna not believe this incredible catch. The 39 hour just came back in with Captain Joe, Will, and uh, I think Michael, uh, and they just absolutely smashed these fish. You're gonna you're almost unbelievable. Looks like one of our better catches in the month of June, at least uh, pile-wise. <laughs> Something like 40 gag grouper, I hear. But you guys can tell for yourselves. <laughs> Holy moly. Lots of big yellowtail. Some big, big scamp grouper. That's a scamp, not a gag. That's a yellow eye, not a red. Yes, sir. Big old silky. That is a cool fish. <laughs> so the big difference between the red snapper and the, the yellow eye. There's even a little here when he's alive. You can yeah, see yeah, some really yellow, yellow right. around the mouth. Yeah. They've got the yellow eye. And then the biggest difference is right here. This is how you know that black trailing edge of that back fin. The top part be, even. The top part's going to be a lot more black. So that is how you know that is a silky or a yellow eye snapper. Lots of yellow tails some big gags and uh there's still more barrels of fish coming holy moly crazy lots of big scamps it looks like yeah, you guys did really well huh really well we smoked them on the night bike smoked and, it uh, and that added to the pile immensely. yeah yeah the night bite was hot and then during the day how'd you guys do uh, it was steady during the day, you know, pick at them here and there, hit one real good spot for the red snappers and not. And just got a few here and there throughout the rest of the trip and wow. it all added up. Yeah, man, look at the size of that porgy. Yes, sir. <laughs> that is a monster porgy. Oh, man, what was the hot bait? The hot bait today is, I would still say cut bait. Cut uh, bait still working uh, best. Many, diff many different kinds. What was the scamp coming up on? The scamp coming up on... I couldn't tell you. Let's ask. Guys, who caught a big scamp on what? Where is he? Number. What was it? Live pin, pin fish he for the big scamp. The oh, there you go. See, I think that's his over there. That is a massive scamp. On a live penny. Woo! That is a big old pile, Captain Joe. Yeah, sir. He smoked him. <laughs> wow. Can't even get it all in one shot. Massive. Well, you guys saw it. They did really well on that 39-hour fishing trip, and we're going to go out there and do it again later today. we got plenty more of these long-range trips before the end of red snapper season. And keep in mind, guys and gals, that there are cancellations. This Friday's 44-hour trip, last I looked, had eight open spots due to last-minute cancellations. So you want to keep checking back. There's still a great opportunity for you to hop on some of these uh, long range trips last minute for red snapper and gag grouper. The easiest way to check is to uh, check on our website through the online reservation system. And as soon as someone cancels off, that spot becomes available online and you can start booking it. And it makes it real easy for you to check back whenever you have a second and see if one of those spots opened up. The 12-hour extreme's been doing well. We've been catching a lot of fish on those 12-hour extreme trips too. Captain Joe, Captain Rich running those extreme trips. Captain Brian and Captain Garrett are running most of the 39-hour trips, but Captain Joe is gonna be cycling in on some Sunday trips. Uh, so plenty of great opportunities to catch tons of big fish. And as you can see from that pile, that bite is going really well for us. The 10 hour trip's been doing well on some nice lanes, a couple nice uh, grouper, red grouper here and there. I've been seeing a few mangroves. Uh, it's been a great time to get out there on the water as long as the weather cooperates. And luckily it looks like the weather's finally gonna give us a nice little stretch of reprieve 
from that poorer weather we saw around that tropical system. So fingers are crossed and uh, we're saying a prayer that that nice weather sticks around. And hopefully you'll be able to join us this Saturday morning for our Real Animals radio show, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Every Saturday we're on 970 w WFLA uh, with the Real Animals uh, Cap Mike Anderson talking fishing. So hopefully you'll join us for our radio show Saturday morning. Hopefully we'll see you Sunday night for our live stream show where you can win free fishing trips. And hopefully you'll get an opportunity to come out and join us inside John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina. Don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. And uh, Jessica, it's very spotty, really hasn't been noticeable around our direct area except for about maybe four days or so uh, at the very beginning of the previous week, about seven days ago. Um, outside of that, it's, oh, you wouldn't even know it's here inside John's Pass at least. It's very spotty. The worst areas are a small part of the south shore of Tampa Bay and some uh, bad areas to our north, like starting around Indian Shores, Indian Rocks, uh, through the Clearwater area. But even up there, it started to clear up too. So overall, the red tide is around, obviously, but it's definitely not anywhere close to what it was like 2017 and 18. Not as bad as 2015 or 2007, 2008. So right now, we're again knocking on wood keeping our fingers crossed that it's a, a, a mild one because red tide is not always a bunch of devastation uh, sometimes it's mild and goes away quickly who knows this is getting pretty concentrated there around the south shore of tampa bay hoping that it stays contained uh, and doesn't expand through the whole area but time will tell sometimes it, it can come and uh, go just as quickly sometimes it can spread out who knows but right now everything's going well and also keep in mind that even if it does get really bad it doesn't affect our ability to catch fish offshore it just affects our ability to get that live bait uh, but right now we're even still catching some live bait for these trips too so overall things are going really well and weather's looking good and it's a great time to get out on the water and enjoy some fun in the sun here inside John's Pass at Hubbard's Marina. Y'all have a great day. Come and see us and uh, yeah, we'll see you Saturday for the radio show. We'll see you Sunday night for our live stream show. Have a great day, guys.